That was weird. I just pressed record and it went record stop. I think it's working now. Oh. Good afternoon, YouTubers. What day is it now? Uh, Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah. Wednesday. And uh, that wasn't the King's coronation very exciting. You know, lots of people have said lots of things about it, but the one thing that m really made me giggle was uh, the Archbishop trying to put the crown on his head. He was faffing and farting <laughs> about and trying to screw it on at one point, and the filthy look Charles oh. shot him, you know. All he's got to do is lower the crown onto the guy's head. He's there waiting for it. <laughs> he's knocking him about. I would put a clip in, but I'm not going to get copyrighted by anybody. But uh, I'm sure you've seen it if you were interested. But watch that bit again. It's, and watch that filthy look Charles gives him. Yeah, fired! <laughs> what did you think of the coronation, anyway? Oh, it's miles away. I'm just hoping that young Cameron has turned up for his shift. We have new crew. We have new crew, two new crew, one in the post and one starting today. Yeah. And I'll pray to God it works out. Um, and just thinking yeah. about the rest of the... the thinking about day. Lady Faith, are we allowed to say anything no. at all? Nothing at no. all. She's no. got a new job. No, can't and we're say not anything. allowed Please to report don't. on it. So It's top secret. It's top secret. Um, Lady Faith insists. She's, she's uh, doing so well. She's doing, yeah. We can say she's doing really well. And it's well a long time coming because she's a shy kid. She's always been a shy kid. Yeah. And um, uh, she's had sort of a, a run of bad luck. Not bad luck exactly, but just nothing's really, you know, they can get at an awkward age. Mm. They don't really have any direction in life or know where they're going. And it yeah. all sort of fell into place. Largely thanks to a lot of you, actually, when we did all the lives over Christmas. Yeah, yeah. And, and you're just chatting away and you give us ideas and you make, you make our minds think, you know, keep us alive and, yeah, and yeah. Uh, keep our minds active. And I suddenly had an idea and, and she went for it. Yeah. She had to apply for lots of jobs, yeah. got knocked back by all of them, and, yeah. and then yeah. she reapplied for one, and she got it. Yeah. So, I wish I could what, tell everybody. What we, what we can say is she's had to go on a course, and she's passed the course. Well, not quite, not quite. Well, she's right at the end of it, yeah. Yeah, but she's passed everything's going, every, everything's going really well. Everything yeah. so far, and it's really tough, and loads of people get kicked out of it. Um, they fail. Yeah, so yeah. She's, she's nearly there, nearly there, and then... Literally, the sky's the limit, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I've been looking at medical videos. There's a lot of garbage relating to medical issues. You know, oh, if you have, no. a, I mean, I'm not going to bore you with any medical issues, but if you had a particular medical issue, yeah, yeah. you'd be quite keen, wouldn't you, to think, oh, I'll look that one up, I'll find out yeah. as much as I can. And they're there, blah, 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 blah. An hour oh, later, Google. they're still... Oh, Google, it, oh, it's always off the mark. So there's def I mean, I'm not a doctor. I'm not going to start doing medical videos. But I think if you are a doctor and you are qualified and you're out there, people need answers and they need them really fast. <laughs> Try and keep the, uh, keep the whole your whole video to under five minutes because... Oh, right, you mean you people I mean? say, hello, you Google, you, you search something oh, on YouTube like... I've got a really, really specific screen tumour or something like this. You think, oh my God, any, anything, you name it. And you think, I'll, I'll Google it. And then, oh, you think you've got a brain tumour? Oh, mm -hmm. come on to my channel. You might be, I've got the cure for you. But first, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> first, let me word for my sponsors. Oh, oh, oh. And you, you're like, Whoa. and you're just going through it fast forward. You're thinking, what the hell? So yes, there's a definitely, uh, and these people are just milking it. They're milking people's ailments for. Hang on. For time, airtime. Why um, is the living room TV trying to communicate with my phone? I don't know. My phone just went. Zzz, I've just got Mediterranean said, music playing on YouTube. <laughs> it said that the phone is my phone is connected with the TV, but I never asked the phone to do that. Technology, eh? The What's going on? Are they, are they thinking, listening to us yeah, or something? Yeah. I was watching Andy the Gabby Cabby. Oh, this yeah. morning, and he was talking about the 4K cameras they've got now that can just look right into your car and see everything that everyone's yeah. doing. Right. And um, it's getting more and more Big Brother all the time in the UK. It really is. And uh, said, what are the reasons? Says, What's that listens to you at night? I mean, I don't know what they hope to hear. That's snoring. But you know, but the, apparently... the, the mobile phone is the spy oh, in the room, me, isn't yes. it? You don't know what. Technology is is right. doing listening, earwigging, 
You know, I reckon they're going to fit everyone in the UK with steel collars that they can't take off and they'll have a chip in there. Well, Elon so wants they'll be to... able to track you and listen to you and see who you're talking to. And if you take your collar off, you go in jail. It's getting really sort of a big brother. Thumbs down. Um, I can't believe how much life's changed, really. You know, when I was a little kid, I was... Oh, she's put the kettle on. Just let me turn that off. How rude! Because that really does drown out the video. You can put the kettle on later. When I was a little kid, I was like, you're in a hurry to grow up, aren't you? I'm six! No, no, I'm lying! I'm seven! No, you're five! And you think, oh, my granddad's 70. That's good. I live forever. 70's forever. And here I am, I'm 61 now. And uh, life goes quite quickly when you look back. It, it, it's it's a long time looking forward, 10 years, but looking back at the last 10 years, you think, oh, where did they go? So I don't know about you, but for me, it, life seems to accelerate time. You know, you, you just had your birthday, oh, it's Christmas again. You think, whoa. And then it's your birthday again, you think, wow, that's a bit fast. And you're looking back, I was talking about the army the other day, and I thought, well, I joined up in 79. That was 44 years ago. I think, wow, it only seems like a couple of years, maybe five, ten years ago, but it wasn't. It was 40 years ago. And it's true, you know, we, we, a lot of us have a lot of um, trouble just staying alive and staying healthy. I mean, that's a big full-time job for a lot of us. And the last thing we want is, is getting messed around on YouTube, saying, oh, no, do this, do that. Or, hey, let's go off to war. That's a great idea. Let's fight for king and country. Oh, yeah, great. Someone, someone's, um, someone's invaded something and the king hasn't got power there anymore because someone else has... Uh, Got passport control over there, so we're gonna go and get it back, and then people are all dying and getting shot away. And you think, oh my god, life's short enough as it is. The last thing we want is to be going to war and shooting each other and dropping bombs on each other for sure. I'm a bit of a hippie, really. I should have a flower in the end of my rifle. <laughs> Fiona, where have you gone? Just wandered off. So, I made some notes, I usually don't, don't even follow them, but I usually write some things down to talk about, and then I just go off on a tangent and talk about something else. Because um, I often flick through the internet, looking at other people's channels, and some people have got some really good channels, and if you, if you keep a tab on my community posts, if I find a good channel that I like, I think, wow, I like that, subscribe to that, and I'll put a post to it on my own community channel. So. If you look at my community channel posts, you'll see it'll take you to other people that I'm interested in who I think are, are quite good to watch. So maybe you'll like them as well. I don't know if that's true or not, but I was just sweeping quite floor, often is the case. Working away from the back of the house. So what's the latest from um, Royal World? And... I have no idea. Yeah. I have no idea. I feel like I'm having an out of body experience at the moment, actually. Why? I just, I don't know, tired. Oh. Let's um, go and have a lie down. I've got time, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got time. Just praying to God that, that it works out with this, uh, these two new crew. Yeah, that would be really good. Yeah. That would be really good. That would be excellent, because uh, that would take a, an enormous weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's a problem. It's just, um, unfortunately, <laughs> our daughter got a great job somewhere else. That We lost a crew member. Well, and then Matthew's got a great job somewhere else, so he lost another crew. I wasn't expecting Matthew's. I didn't even know he'd applied for another job. That's what threw me. Yeah, well, the problem with <laughs> just the dolphin safari is we're really busy from, from <laughs> April, uh, well, so Easter March. until the end of yeah. October, and that's it. it just, until November, yeah, November. It, we can do private charters after that over Christmas, but there's nothing, really. There's nothing, there's no work. So it's a seasonal job, really. And you, you, you are busy in the summer. When it's the, the same season. with pubs as well, isn't you? Yeah, yeah. They're, they're working their nuts off. Well, it's off. very difficult to get crew, especially on, on minimum yeah. wage, that, you know, because bosses, you know what bosses are like, they always want to pay you as little as possible. I actually think they get all, they do all right, and it's a lovely job for kids. 
Because it a lot is, of them they live is. with their mum and dad. And they get tips, so I don't get any tips. I let the crew yeah. keep the tips, but... And it's a lovely job. It is, it is. it's really great fun nice in the job. summer, but it's it's not really a career, it's a... It's a the thing that's not me for six is uh, uh, because I had to cover it's really the end. it's been a late no do season and the no do is rough rough yeah, sea yeah. no dolphins passengers puke people get angry um, it, it's the most tiring most difficult part of the year and yeah, that had to be yeah. the time that they all left <laughs> yeah. it is, isn't it? have you noticed have you noticed a thing yeah. over the years that crew, are, when it's windy and they know it's an Odo season, they phone in sick. Yeah. They don't want to do the trip. for the good times. I always end up on the no-do trips. And the tips. Remember, and always. It's all and then no-do the, season, no The tips. rest of the year, when it's dead easy to find the dolphins, they're, they're there, aren't they? Like for, yeah, yeah. Well, I think that's about it, really. Unless there's anything you want to add? No. Keeps wandering off. She's busy. She's cleaning the house and doing stuff, getting it ready. Uh, yeah, last thing I'm going to end on is where are the United Nations? People say, it's in New York, isn't it? No, that wasn't the question. Where are the United Nations? They should be in the Ukraine, shouldn't they? Keeping the peace. Because I do remember, not so long, well, I wasn't born, so I don't remember it. That was a lie. But I remember the history lesson of when the British and the French went into Egypt to take the Suez Canal back. What happened? The United Nations says, you've got to get out, UN resolution, you are a bad guy, you've invaded Egypt, get out. And we had to leave, that was it. The, you know, because otherwise the United Nations may have come with a force and, and removed us. And you think, well, that's actually a good idea, isn't it? The United Nations in that respect. But what happens in the Ukraine when Russia invades Ukraine and uh, I don't see UN peacekeepers going in going whoa whoa stop fighting everybody stop it stop it come on negotiations boom stop it don't shoot at the UN whoa nothing absolutely nothing and quite the reverse I see the Americans pumping loads of money into giving the Ukrainians weapons to prolong what is a bad situation to begin with no, yes, the Russians shouldn't have started it, but other people shouldn't have carried it on, really. It should have been negotiated, something had to be done, and I think at the time the UN should have stepped in by now and done something, because if not, why are they there? Unfit for purpose, they could all be fired, right, and we could bulldoze the site and build some houses or shops or something, because it's just wasting people's time, like the WHO, the World Health Organization, I mean, they are completely useless. They should all be fired and thrown out and uh, their premises bulldozed and built shops there because they are useless. The same people could do the same job, far more useful in another way. But the, it's just, it just seems to me that people just get these jobs where they just sit up there, look at me, I'm looking marvellous me, just give me money and I'm not going to do anything. Why? Why, why should we do that? So there's my little rant for today. I'm sure there's other things on the list that I just don't want to go into at the moment. Uh, like Lee Anderson and free speech. But I'll leave that for another day. Thanks for watching. Good night. And may your God go with you.